Okay, I wanted to make a video for you on blending because I put out a survey recently asking people what they want to know or what they struggle with basically with painting and overwhelmingly the answer was blending. So I thought I'm going to make a quick video for you. I've got a couple of tools which are really good for blending including um, a new secret weapon, uh, my new uh, blending mitt. So I want to show you how to use that and also um, the fatty brush and, um, and a few tips on how to get some good results with blending. So I'm blending Peter's Blue and Saltbush together for this demonstration and I've just done an undercoat in Grey Goose because that's a great undertone for those two colours and where it's going to um, show through those colours it's going to give it a much softer transition. And first of all, I always just do a really light misting using a mister bottle of water. What you're doing when you're misting it is, because the paint's porous, when you go on with your next layer of paint, it gets slightly sucked into that base layer, um, which can make it drag a little bit. So if you spray a little coat of water on there first, it's almost like what they call a slip coat. So it, that is gonna be absorbed into the paint. And then when you go on with your, into the dry paint, and then when you go on with your um, next layer of paint that you want to be able to move around easily because you're blending it, that's gonna be able to move more easily. So it's just a light misting. You don't want it to be just swimming around with loads of water because then you're gonna end up in a bit of a mess with your blending. So just a really light misting. Um, and get an actual mister rather than a water spray because when you use a, a spray bottle you'll get actual big droplets of water and that's not what you want so um, these mister bottles are much better. So the first thing I did was just basically place the paints where I wanted them so I'm just using the flat brush and I'm just getting the paint on not worrying too much about how it looks I'm just placing the colours roughly where I want them to be. So this is the first uh, coat of Peter's Blue and then next I'm just putting on a coat of the salt brush with a clean brush, um, putting on the salt bush at the, uh, on the other half of the board. I always tend to do two coats when I do blending. I find you get a much softer blend when you do that. So this is the first coat and then when it's dry, I will go over and do the same thing again with a second coat. First of all, I just miss lightly over the paints to make sure that they're moving nice and easily. And then I'm just going to use the fatty brush. This is the um, wide blending brush. It's got smooth tapered bristles, so it's lovely for blending paints in together. Um, you could also use the flat brush for this, but I just prefer to use a wider blending brush to blend colors together. So first of all, we're just going to do a quick blend just to mix the colors together, and then we'll get the blending mitt out to totally soften the whole thing. So I'm just using a very light touch with the brush here, just quickly blending the colours together at the transition point. You could also do this with the flat brush, but I just really love to use the wider fatty and um, find that the tapered bristles just give it a much softer finish. And now just another light spray of water to get the paints moving and then I can start using the blending mitt. So the blending mitt is really nice and soft. Um, you just need to basically use a light touch and you're just going to work around the transition between the two colours, working them into each other. So using a kind of light rolling and patting motion, you're just going to go over the transition and then backwards and forwards and slowly work the two colours into each other. Um, you can take off any excess paint that's on the um, mitt onto a paper towel if you feel like the paint is building up a little bit too much. Um, and you, obviously, of course, you can just keep sort of turning the mitt and um, using a clean area if you feel like you've got too much paint build up. So just keep on playing and working with the paint. If it feels like it's not moving, then just give it another light misting with your water mister and just keep on gradually working away at it until you're happy with it. 
Remember, you will do a second coat, so with the first coat, you don't need to worry about too much. Uh, the second coat will bring it out with a beautiful, soft finish. So the fibres in the blending mitt are really nice and soft and that's what gives it that lovely um, soft blend. You want to make sure you look after the mitt to keep it that way. So just make sure you wash it out within a couple of hours of using it, um, just with warm water and some laundry detergent. And you can actually pop a little bit of fabric conditioner into the last rinse and that will just keep it really nice and soft. This is the second coat going on now, so you can see how it's uh, a beautifully soft, cloudy, smoky kind of transition now between the two colours. Okay, so the second coat is still drying, but that's how it's looking. You can see it's just a really beautiful, soft, Kind of blend there's no defined line where the colors merge into each other so i that's how i love blending um i find it's much easier than just doing it with a brush and so that's why i've got the blending mitt now to um, help anybody who struggles with blending which i think is probably most of us um, i think you'll really love using the blending mitt and you'll find that it makes blending a lot easier for you so if you do have a go with it then let me know how you get on